Welcome to the queue. 2023. 2023. Here Happy we are. New Year. <laughs> it is. It's a new year. It is. New explorations. So, how long have we been here? 11 days. 11 days. Yeah, 11 days. And we've made three rides? We have. Three rides. Yeah, our first one was with friends that have Jeeps. So, we got to do a Jeep ride with them. Yep. Yeah, it was fun. It was. It was a lot of fun. And then we went on a short ride with Pat and his son when they got here. Yep, that was that was good. Been a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, the guys that the gang that scoped this place out back in October. Yeah, yeah, they've been here since October. Got a pretty nice spot. They oh my gosh, great job guys. Yeah, it's it's really really nice. So if you don't know about quartzite, quartzite is I don't know how many thousands of acres it is but it's it, huge it is it's huge <laughs> there are four ltvas long-term visitor areas and we stay in la posa south which is one of the four ltvas and then there's scattered blm land around the ltvas that you can stay for free we pay forty dollars for 14 days and that gives us access to garbage facilities garbage dumpsters uh fresh water mm -hmm. taps and a dump station but uh, we have to hook up um, our rig and haul it out to the dump station and the fresh water station. Uh, a lot of the guys here with HDT trucks, they have modified their trucks because they boondock, I'm going to say 90% of the time or more. Yes, they have a great setup. Yeah, they've got big, big waste tanks, uh, big, big fresh water tanks. But they've got a macerator, toy, or a macerator pump that they can hook on their, their um, sewer connect and they can pump out both their black and their gray into their waste tanks and then drive their truck out to the dump station and dump and then they don't have to move their RV. How convenient is that? Well, yeah, if you boondock a lot, it's yeah, a pretty neat idea. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, so we've seen some pretty cool setups while we've been here from some of our friends. Mm -hmm. We boondock, but we don't boondock to the point where we need that. We don't, we don't I mean, we just don't have no. the waste tanks like they do. Uh, but it's a cool idea. It is very cool. Uh, so we hook up, we've got 100 gallons of fresh water, and then we have 75 gallon gray capacity and a 50 gallon black capacity. And if we do it correctly, we can usually make it two weeks. Two weeks, yep. And then we need to hook up and go out and dump our tanks, fill back with fresh water, and then come back here and set up again, and we're good for another two weeks. So. I don't know. We'll be doing it in a couple days. Yeah. 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 We're getting there. Yep. But anyway, this is a really cool location. We're right on the backside of a wash. Um, nobody behind us. Nobody nope. beside us. We're off the main road. The BLM area, guys, uh, especially these LTVAs, again, it's hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of acres out here. And we're in the LTVA La Posa South. And as you can see the drone footage, there are rigs everywhere. Everywhere. And, and they're still coming in daily. They are. Yeah. Yeah. And by the time the show gets here, it'll be pretty packed, I'm sure. It will. So when we're looking for a, a spot in the LTVA, as these guys, you know, did for us before we even got here, but they look for some place where there's nobody on the backside or nobody on the front side or, or whatever. And then they look for a place that doesn't have a drive-through road where, and, and what I mean by that is there are little pockets off of the main dirt roads that transition through the LTVA. And if you park next to one of those roads and it gets dry and dusty out, mm. every time somebody drives by, they kick up a bunch of dust and it comes in your campsite. And <laughs> that happened to us last year. It did. It and was a mess. <laughs> so these guys, these guys found a really cool location that's a nice little pocketed area off the beaten path. And mm -hmm. it's a little further to the dump station, but it's, it's really, really nice. It is. And right behind you is a wash, so there's nobody behind here yeah. at all. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Uh, it's been kind of cloudy. Yeah, it's the, been like this. What they the call time. it, the, the the bomb cyclone that hit California. Yeah, I'd rather have this than the bomb cyclone. Yeah, so cyclone. <laughs> the clouds came through and hit California and and dumped a bunch of water there. And it's rained here a couple of times, not for very long. No, but the clouds have been coming through and 
that limits our solar use, so we've had to run the generator a little bit. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, we're getting along just fine, aren't we? Oh, absolutely. It's been, the last 11 days has been just like fast. Yeah, yeah. Very fast. So we've got an update on the RV show. If you're not familiar with the show, it's a RV tent show um, that I don't even remember who puts it on, but they have it here in Quartzsite. Uh, right in town, they put up this big, huge circus tent and set up booths for vendors inside the circus mm -hmm. tent. And then they've got booths from the vendors outside the circus tent uh, in the walkways. And then there's an RV dealer here that brings uh, some Class A's, they bring some fifth wheels, they drink, bring some bumper poles and set everything up so that you can go through it. I mean, it's nothing like <clears throat> the Tampa show where we oh, were there no. last year. No. And it's nothing like the Hershey show that we went to last year. But you know, it's it's kind of an RV show, but I think it's more about the experience. It is. So the RV show, like I say, is is under a big tent. So if it's raining, you know, you can get out of the weather. If it's sunny and too hot, you can get out of the sun. Uh, lots and lots and lots of vendors. I mean, there is. I call it more of a flea market than I do an RV show. Do you? Yeah. 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 They got a little bit of everything. They do. They have a lot of everything. Yeah. It's it's pretty neat. Yeah. It's kind of fun. And then we've already been to town, so if you haven't been in town in Quartzsite, uh, year round they have, again, what I call a flea market. That is, to me, is more like, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And, and they sell tools and rocks and gems and... Kitchen gadgets. Yeah. 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 Everything. So we Groceries. Went, we went and took a, a little tour around town to see what the offerings were this year at, uh, at the flea market, and, and that was kind of fun. Uh, we didn't buy anything. Not yet. No. We still have time. We do. <laughs> so there's there's a lot to do here. I mean, we we like to ride. We like to, to hike and walk, and, and we like to go into town, and it's just kind of a unique experience. Yeah. A lot of people come to the show just out of Phoenix for the day. They do. Because it's just a couple-hour drive. Right. And, and Yuma, because yeah. Yuma's just an hour and a half away. Yep. And there are a lot of people in RV parks here in Quartzsite. Um uh, the RV parks, I think, fill up pretty fast during the month of January. Yes. Um, because that's when the show is. It's always the third week of January every year. And it conflicts with the Tampa RV show. And we wanted to see Tampa last year, so we missed the show last year. Uh, but I'm kind of excited to see it again this year. Oh, me too. Well, we're going to be there. We are. And we finally got some information on when and where for the meet and greets at the show. That's right. Yay. <laughs> so we have... Um, a company uh, by the name of National Indoor RV Center, and they're going to have a booth. They've got a, a number of booths at the show, but we they have invited us to use their booth for our meet and greets uh, at the show, and we're going to be there at this point. We're going to be there for, uh, on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and probably Wednesday, mm -hmm. depending on how things go. Um, and we're going to be there between 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That yes. way we can have our lunch and and then do a meet and greet and take pictures with everybody and just say hello. And uh, it's at booths 527 and 528. They've got a double booth there set up for us or for them. Mm -hmm. And they've graciously invited us to come use their booth as our meet and greet. And we're pretty excited. Oh, thank you so much for doing that. Yeah. It's, we really appreciate that. Yeah. So we're going to be there from 1 to 2. The show is actually uh, the Friday the 21st through the following Sunday the 29th. And it's from 9 to 5, except Sunday. I think they shut down early at 3 so that the vendors can pack up pack and, up and head home. Um, but that's where we're going to be. And, again, we're going to put it on our community tab. We're going to put it on our Facebook. We'll put Instagram. it on our Instagram and let you know, you know, in case you don't have a paper and pencil. Uh, but that's where we're going to be for our, our meet and greets. And we just love these meet and greets. We do. It's been a while since we've had one. I think the last one we did was down at Tampa. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's been way a year too ago. long. That's ridiculous. A year ago. So, so we're gonna, come down and visit us. Yeah. Come and say hi to us. Come I'll say hi. And, for those days. Yep. We'll, uh, we'll take pictures uh, for our, our social media. Yes, because I always like to post it yep. afterwards. And um, we're, we're really looking forward to it. So we're excited to see you guys. So come on out. And then, again, we, we mentioned earlier, if you're going to be in the Yuma area during February and March, 
Uh, we're going to be down in Yuma visiting some friends and riding our Can-Am down in Yuma and just kind of chilling for the for the winter down there before it gets too hot. And there's about, I, I think I counted this morning, I think we're going to have over 20 people that are interested in coming. Oh, fun. To a meetup. So, so now we have to figure out where. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to get a location there in Yuma. We're going to go scout it out when we get down there, and we'll let everybody know. Again, on our community tab, we'll, we'll, we'll advertise it in one of our videos. So, And I say again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the alert bell because anytime we put anything on our community tab, uh, it will show up as a notification to you that we've put out some something new, and you can see what we've got planned for our our meetups in Yuma. Yeah. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. And we'll put it there as we'll well. We'll put it there as well. Yeah. Yes. So that's the update from Quartzite at this point. Uh, if you've got any questions on Quartzite or boondocking or the LTVA, uh, by the way, we did an LTVA versus uh, versus normal BLM land video. Uh, has it been two years ago? Anyway, when we first got here, yeah, three years ago. Anyway, we'll put the update yeah. up above, uh, and and that's that's been a very popular video here for the last couple of months because people who have not been to Quartzsite are looking for information, and and we've been told that that is one of the most informative videos on the BLM land and the LTVAs yeah. that people have found, and 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 you know we're really excited to to share that with you. So again, I'll I'll put the link up here and. And go take a look at that video if you're more interested, if you want to know more about LTVAs and the, and the BLM process uh, here in Arizona. Sounds good. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Okay. I don't, I don't think so. So, again, we're here. We're having a blast. We're with friends. Um, if, if, if you happen to be driving by, you know, and you want to say hello and our door is open, feel free to say hello. Um, you know, <laughs> we've we've had some folks come by and we've been right in the middle of dinner and we feel bad because we're in the middle of dinner and, <laughs> and they felt bad because they interrupted our dinner. And so usually if, if our door is open, you know, we're usually... Yeah. Or if you see us outside. Yeah, if you see us outside, yeah. stop by, say hello. We've I don't know, we've had probably 10 or 12 people stop by so far. There's been quite a few. At this location. Yeah, yeah. We, we were hiding from everybody, but it didn't work, did it? <laughs> we were hiding. <laughs> they found us. <laughs> We weren't hiding. We're, we're just back farther yeah. than normal, and we're off the beaten path. So we get this beautiful view, and and we're hard to miss. And we're yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you search for us, you'd find us. You see big red sitting out here uh, yeah. in in the middle yeah. of the desert, and then there's there's I don't know probably another six, seven, eight other HDTs down the line here from yes. us and we're just having a really good time we are so we'd love to meet you guys uh, the meet and greet is probably the best as I say we love meet and greets because that gives us an opportunity to share with you and, and get to know you a little bit more yeah and we get to take a picture for our social media and it's just a lot of fun it is it's a lot of fun so this community we are we are just still just amazed at at how gracious this community is. We just, yeah, it's it's overwhelming sometimes. It is, it yeah. is, and we want to thank you guys for coming along because we really, really enjoy sharing our adventure with you guys. And, and we appreciate you guys a lot. We do, we, we hope do. We know that. The comments that we get, they're mm -hmm. so much fun to read, and we feel, we feel like we get to know you a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'm going to apologize right up front. If you come to a meet and greet or you come to the Yuma meetup and you say, hi, I'm such and such <laughs> uh, yeah, for me to put a name on on all the comments that we get is very yeah. difficult so give us right give us a little grace there <laughs> while, we, while we roll through our comments and say oh yeah i remember that name yeah we usually remember names we do we do but we don't have a face with it right so that that can make it a little difficult. and it's so much fun to have everybody come up and say i know you you don't know me but we know you because we're in your channel every week yeah yeah, we don't mean to stalk you. <laughs> You're not stalking us. That's okay. All right. We're going to wrap this one up. We're going to try to make this one short. Uh, we just wanted to give you a quick update on Quartzite. The Q23 is the Q23. here. Q23. All right. Yeah. So from Quartzite, Arizona. It all starts with an idea. Thanks for coming along, guys, and turn those ideas into memories, lifetime memories. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.